welcome back. Um, this is uh, Surface Noise. Uh, my name is John. Um, so for today's video, I will be discussing um, another in my top 100 albums. Um, and today that one is Bonnie Vare for Emma Forever Ago. So this is, if you're not familiar with Bonnie Vare, it's basically Justin Vernon. Um, on this album, it is 90% Justin Vernon. Um, later on, uh, as his career progressed, he did, he did have more of a band later. Um, but this, this one is basically him. Um, so what happened with him is he um, had been uh, in a few bands. Um, he, the, the, the band he was in before this uh, broke up. Um, they kind of moved apart from each other and then sort of went their separate ways. So, um, And at the same time, uh, he had a relationship that fell apart. Um, and he was had some illness issues too. So what he decided to do was go to his father's cabin. Um, and at first he was just trying to, I guess, get off the grid kind of thing, stay away. Um, and then he just sort of did not much of anything for a couple of weeks. But... After that, he felt uh, the need to start doing some songwriting and stuff, and he uh, wrote and recorded this album. Um, well, that wasn't really what he was trying to do. Um, the songs he recorded um, were meant to be possibly demos to be given out to record labels later, um, with the idea that he would re-record the songs at that point, right? Uh, maybe with a band or whatever else. but. Um, when uh, he played the record for family and friends and for other bands, friends of his in bands, they said, no, you should, you should release this as it is. Um, this is your record. So that's what ended up happening. Um, and this is the result. This is on Jag, Jaguar, which is the, the label he ended up signing with um, after uh, the, the original recordings were, were passed around, I guess. Um, and this is, this comes with a nice lyric sheet, see there? But this is my, um, it is still my favorite of all his records. There we go. Black. Um, there is, uh, I guess there will be four plus an EP. I have three. I don't have, um, the second album was just self-titled. Um, uh, really, really good. I just haven't managed to get my hands on that one yet. Um, and then there was Blood Bank, which was an EP. Um, and then over here, and I can't remember the name of that one. Um, and the other one over there is the latest one is I.I., I think it's called. Um, all good records. Um, but still, I prefer the stripped down versions um, like this. Um, and the second album, too, I like I liked the style. I like the later stuff too, even though he got more into like electronics and auto tune and stuff. But it's still good because it's still him. It's still his voice and it's still his songwriting. So the albums are still great. But this this one for me is is it. Um, singles from here: uh, "Skinny Love," "For Emma," and "Restacks." Um, but every track is pretty great. Um, a flume. It starts off really great. I mean, flume is great. "Creature Fear" is an awesome song, which uh, has some great shifts in, in, in tempo and stuff. Um, it, yeah, I, uh, mostly acoustic stuff. Um, he uses, he sings a lot in a falsetto uh, in this. Um, apparently he was, uh, yeah, you know, that was what, what he was going with at the time. Um, that was, he was inspired by uh, certain types of music that used similar types of uh, vocal stylings and that's what made him uh, choose that so um, so yeah this was um, this was my this is my favorite out of all of his records um, but I highly recommend you pick up everything um, I think the first thing I did get was Blood Bank and that was is a great EP um, has the song Woods on it actually and that was sampled on a Kanye West track I believe that he actually appeared on as well um, he's worked with a lot of people. Um, he's also in the band Big Red Machine 
and there's another side project he has, and I can't recall the name of it off the top of my head. But, um, you know, of course, he worked with Taylor Swift on the, her last two records. Um, and, uh, yeah, he um, shows up in a lot of places, uh, you know. Of course, the Big Red Machine is um, with Aaron Dessner of The National because he's friends with those guys. So, so he gets around a lot, does a lot. He's got a lot of material out there. Um, he's uh, very prolific. Um, has and uh, you know, uh, I've I've enjoyed all of his music for sure. But um, as I said before, this one ranks for me at the top. Um, um, and uh, I think that it is uh, a classic and well deserving of being in a top list, definitely in my top 100 list. So that's that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is, uh, um, I've got a series of, of videos I've done under this theme of top 100 albums. It's, there's a playlist if you look on the main channel there that you can find and uh, take a look. You might like some of the other picks I have. Um, but that's it for today. Bon Iver for Emma, Forever Ago. Worth checking out. And I will see everyone next time.